Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is March 13th through 19th. Hello, hope you're amazing. So we have, we're going to start with, practice self-compassion. See yourself with loving kindness. Acknowledge your growth as an empath and honor the person you have become. Beautiful. Okay. So... You have Temperance, the Hangman, and the Emperor. Three major arcana cards at the beginning. You have one in like every section as well. This is an impactful week for you. So just um, beware of that. Be mindful of that for yourself. Um, sorry, I've been downloading something. Okay, so... This week, be careful of people trying to overstep their boundaries with you or push you into things or situations that you don't feel absolutely comfortable with this week. Because um, I see you trying to be patient or exert some sort of boundaries. Um I, I say to keep yourself safe, but more to keep yourself balanced. Um, it's like someone is trying to change your perspective. But before you go and accept it, uh, take some time to kind of mellow through what's happening first. I feel like you need a moment to... because. There's something about this that makes me feel like someone's trying to get you on their side or to see things their way. You're not 100% agreeing with this, Pisces. And that's okay. Nothing's the matter with that. Um, but at the same time, it's like there's pieces in there that you should be listening to or paying attention to. But not all of it. It's very, it's very interesting. I'm going to pull regular cards for this. Yeah, I knew I was going to get more than one card. This feels like a story. Okay, um, so it could be, I feel like you've been a little off whack, <laughs> Pisces, especially the last week here, um, and you're learning how to be more patient. You're learning how to just not say things right off the tip of your tongue or, you know, without like fully thinking about them because of the consequences that could happen from it. Um, because I, I see you seeing that, um, it's not good teamwork, you know, it's not good compassion, how you were doing things before. So I feel like you're trying to like slow it down a little bit to get some center thought. Um, the problem is you're encountering this week, someone that's being very superficial or maybe tactless with the way that they're speaking to you or acting towards you. And it feels deliberately, I want to say angry, um, but like cruel to you. Um, I will say this before you, I feel like they're trying to hold on to something. Like they're trying to hold on to their ideas, their thoughts, and trying to transmit them or communicate them to you in a way to get you to understand. But it feels very overwhelming. So, um Take your time here. Remember to stand in your boundaries, but not like throw them at someone. But before you make any decisions, I feel like you need to hesitate this week. I will wait. Okay. Um, yeah. So then we have divine presence, the force of love and creation. Beautiful. Nine of cups, the world, the ace of pentacles. 
Your love relationship, though, looks great. Your love energy this week. Um, you're very satisfied with your love life. I feel like you're comfortable. I feel like this is a happy week for you. You're happy with the people that you're surrounding yourself with, your partner, that that and the like. That's going to be your most comfortable area this week is the, the love and the support I feel like that you have. Um, there's a relationship that's going to the next level. Uh, it's like you, you are clearing something up or you feel cleared of something that was bothering you. And now you're starting uh, on this new level of stability. So it's good. And I feel like they're down for it too. Okay. Yeah, you're thinking about the future. You're thinking about marriage. You may be spending time with your family, doing little family things together. Um, yeah, there's definitely a new beginning coming in a love relationship, a new start, a start over. It's like you're resolving some issues and trying it again, almost from scratch, you know? That's what it feels like. Um, you're showing someone love after being really stuck in your head and your thoughts about the relationship. It's like you're like, I see an opportunity here for the future. I'm going to take it. I'm going to stop thinking like this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... Um, it's interesting, too, because I feel like this person really wanted to be with you but they were preparing themselves for the worst, for a breakup or something like that. Okay, so then we have river movement. Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, Four of Cups. Your emotions are going to be pretty high this week, um, especially with the love and the compassion and whatever this person is doing up here. Um, so I feel like you. Okay, it feels like you're trying to balance everything that's going on, but it's less about balance and more like <sighs> focusing on one thing at a time to fix it. This is what I feel. I feel like I'm going to fix this. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But it has a sense of completion to it. So it's not like you're just like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Um, it feels like you're calm enough to handle it which is so weird because you're emotional, but you're making really good choices on what to work on and what's important and what's not. So you're not letting your emotions take you every which way and make these bad decisions. I feel like you're making really good decisions this week, Pisces. Um, it's like you're seeing that there are things to be happy about, even in the worst situation. And a lot of this has to do with the care and support that you're getting from friends, family, and loved ones. Okay. Flow and stay. Yeah. The thing is getting focused and being in a mental zone at this point, because um, I feel like there's, you feel like there's so much going on. I don't see a lot. I can feel it. Like there, You feel like there's so much going on. You have to tackle one thing at a time. But being in a flow will keep those emotions sort of leveled out. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's really good for you to kind of flow in this energy of love and care and compassion right now. Um, because as soon as you hook on to something negative, with this energy, it's just going to take it down, okay? Yeah, you're making good decisions. Yeah, you're making good decisions because you know, you know that if you start focusing on the wrong things, and you can't. There's plenty of things I feel like that you can focus on that are not good. But if you do that, if you do that, if you fall into that hole with yourself, you're going to regret it. So
So I feel like you're trying to stop that from happening and trying to be as positive as you can this week. Yeah, having hope. Having hope to deal with the struggles, yeah, and moving on from the past, you know. Um, you're drawing a line, yeah. This is a week of boundaries for you, Pisces, for sure. This is definitely a week of boundaries, okay? So I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.